Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am just <laughs> killing these intros. Hello. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. I'm Carrie. I'm Morgan. And you're probably surprised to see us again today. Again. again. <laughs> to be honest, we're surprised to be here. <laughs> Patty had um, not difficulty getting home. It just no. is taking a little bit longer. No, Nothing just, bad's happening. No, it's actually, just... she messaged and said, I will be pulling in the driveway when you start. So she, And I said, of course. Of course. <laughs> kind, of pull, kind of started a little earlier for us. No, so... Welcome, happy Tuesday. We are with <clears throat> Studio R12 Stencils on StudioR12.com. You can find thousands, literally thousands, of stencil designs in all shapes, all sizes, all kinds of fun things. And we're also all over the place. Yeah, so today we're talking a little bit about what you can decorate with for summer this mm -hmm. year. So I know it's still spring, but summer is approaching fast. And you know, in the yep. stencil world, we like to be ahead of time just so you can get your stencil and your products and make your project in time for the season. Yes, that is something that we started on Wednesdays doing a What to Paint mm -hmm. Wednesday. And so with <clears> that, we've been talking about what can you paint right now? What should you be painting right now? We've talked about Mother's Day. We've talked about stripes. We've talked about spring and Easter. You'll want to make sure to get signed up for the newsletter today. Yes. If you're not signed up, because tomorrow <laughs> we have a really fun one planned yeah. about um, a bunch of things that is just really popular right now. And we keep talking about it, and it's because it's really popular, but you have to tune in to our newsletter tomorrow to see it. Yeah. Um, speaking of tuning in, don't forget to tune in to our YouTube channel on Saturdays. <laughs> I said Tuesday, today's Tuesday. Saturday, we release videos on Saturday mornings. It's normally at 6.30. You don't have to be up at that time to watch it, but if you're an early riser, it is there for you. Last week, we covered the top tip, four tips for painting a perfect project every time. Yeah. And then <clears throat> this weekend's project came from our happy accident yeah. last week. Yeah, the ombre the accidental ombre with one color so mm -hmm. to, um, on saturday we'll be showing you how to do a really cool ombre hack with only using one color of paint and it turned out really great and it's super easy i'm a bit yeah. hesitant to do ombre yeah if you were with us what was that two tuesdays ago then you know what the happy accident looked yeah. like um but we went a little bit further or carrie went further into depth on it for yeah. a Saturday. So video. if this isn't something that you're yeah. comfortable with, with painting the Hello Sunshine Ombre that Patty has showed recently, then don't worry, I've got your back. I've got the, <laughs> I've got the beginner, yes. the beginner Ombre. You all were with us for the ride of discovering <laughs> that one. <laughs> all right, um, Morgan has a couple things to talk. She's going to tell you about the sale for today. Yes. So today on studior12.com, you can save. Um, $10 when you spend $35 or more, you use the promo code BONUS, all capitals. Um, I'll go ahead and... What's today's date? Um, May 2nd. May 2nd. So 5-2. 5-2-23 is the date that that is good for. Yes. So I'll go ahead and put that in the comments for you guys so you can shop with us. Um, and that's valid for everything site-wide. Yeah, site-wide. So if you spend $35, this is a really good opportunity to buy a kit. Um, so not only do we have stencils of all shapes and sizes, we also have project sets and we have kits and little bundles. So whenever we do a video, if it is something worth putting together, then we will make a project set for it. Like for <clears throat> instance, our easy peasy lemon squeezy on the tag. This has a video, it has a project set, it has a link that you can get all of the individual products. So whenever we build and put things together, we like to make a, a set for you so that all you have to do is say, I want that. I don't wanna have to worry about choosing which size because you have so many sizes. <laughs> Um, and then it's all in one bundle. Yeah. And then um, we'll gonna, talk about the tall porch planner. Yeah, but, so we have a new project, yes. a new product that we're going to release. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so I'm going to have to move this over because it's so big. So our tall porch signs are our most popular products. Yeah. Like they, we have them for all seasons, all the things because people want them all year round on their porch. And so what we did was we 
tried out for our local boutique yeah. a more DIY project where we made our, I should have brought a plant in here. We made this planter box. So what you'll do is you'll put your wood together and then you can put a fern or a little plant. I just have this little yeah. guy. We'll throw, we'll throw this in here. <laughs> throw everything in. everywhere. <laughs> so you can see if there was a big plant in here, how pretty and green that would be. And you can use the four foot porch stencils for that. Yes. So the new product that Morgan is going to share with you is the template and instructions yes. for how to do this. So the template um, is going to be, so the template is the mylar yep, sheets. Yep, three pieces of mylar. So that'll tell you where to mark your holes on your boards mm -hmm. so that you can drill in your holes. The way you would do it is drill in your holes and then get a hammer and nail and hammer the nail into mm -hmm. the holes that you screwed. And the template is only $2 today. So that is a really good yes, deal. Only six ninety nine. Yeah, and I think that comes with the instruction sheet yep, as well, so you can know how to what size board you need to put your planter box together. And then our digital download of just the instruction sheet itself is free today. Yep. Well, and it's um it's free all the time. Oh, as, okay. Yep. So as of right, <laughs> as of right now, I was told to make it free all the time. Free all the time. So. Well. You have that free download that you can grab. You might want to grab it now in case we change our mind. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. You never know. I guess it depends on how popular it is. If it's really popular, we might have to put a price on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this is just a really fun way to change the look of a porch sign and to add some depth to it and add some greenery to it. And maybe you don't have that six foot tall area, but you want to still do something fun. This is a good way to do it. Yeah. Totally agree. All right, so let's talk summer stuff. So first of all, let's hear from you guys. What, when you think of summer and you think of painting and all the decoration things, tell us what what you think of. Because we have some summer staples that we're going to share with you today. And I wanna see if we're on the same page um, yeah. or if you guys have some <laughs> ideas. Um, actually, first though, can you yeah. tell me a name of someone who's commented recently? Um, Let's see, let's do... Patty Current. Patty Current. Congratulations, you have won a prize. Um, I will message you on Facebook after the live and I'll get your address and we will get a prize sent out to you. It'll probably be next week. So everybody, <laughs> everybody hold your horses. We have a lot to do in the next week. So if you win a prize this week, it won't be coming out until next week. But Patty Current, congratulations. You're our first prize winner. And you guys better comment today because we, yep. have, we have lots of prizes to give out. All right, so let's talk about some summer stuff. We're going to start with some things that you can go ahead and use right now. So we are super duper into gardening. I will have yes. to share my picture that I <laughs> shared on my Facebook page last night. So I have started my garden this year and I, at the persistence of my 10 year old, <laughs> Um, I harvested my one of my radishes last night and it was the teeniest tiniest little radish we got six thin little slivers out of it and um, but it was delicious and it was homegrown and we were really super proud of it so we have and they are um, new this season yeah that we have our vegetable and our herb garden markers so these come in several different sizes so these are a really fun thing to have now in spring and then as we go into summer and the summer planting so we are considered zone 6a in southeast ohio so we are going to be really getting into our planting of our yeah. um, tomatoes and our um peppers within the next couple weeks so we're taking kind of a cool down <laughs> right now we're getting ready to to yeah. plant a bunch of stuff but you need to I know i actually told carrie so this is our first this is mine and carrie's first year gardening okay and patty is our inspiration um so i planted arugula and i started it inside from a seed took it outdoors planted it because it is a cold harvest plant um, and I was like, oh, why is my arugula flowering? And I looked it up and it says it's mean it's the end of harvest. I was like, that can't be right. And then I kept picking the flowers off and I was like letting them do their thing. Well, I happened to look at my seed packet and harvest is 35 days after planting. So I've missed my harvest <laughs> <laughs> for arugula. 
So the things, you know, you don't pick your radishes too soon and you don't <laughs> pick your radishes too late. But these are were super great stencil designs that we've made in several different sizes. So you can use them on paint stir sticks if that's something that you put in your garden markers for the paint stir stick. You're going to use STCL, and so this one is 6451 for the herbs, and it's underscore four is the size. And then we also have it that you can put on the craft sticks or the, the big tongue depressors, and for that you would use the underscore one. Now when you go to buy these in the description, it tells you what size the stencil is, but it also tells you what size stick you'll want to use. That was mm -hmm. something that uh, took us a long time. That's why we didn't get these released. We have had these done for over a year, <laughs> but it took us a while to make sure that we were getting the size, the sizes to the sticks that people will use. Yeah. All right, so next we're gonna talk about, so we've talked garden. Let's talk, on the topic of garden, let's talk butterflies. So I'm gonna have Morgan okay. share with you the um, stepping stone video. This thing is so heavy. <laughs> so this is our stepping stone that Patty painted. And this was actually a project that she painted, I think it was like eight years ago yeah. is when she originally painted it. And it was so funny looking back at the original video because she did the, most of this by hand. And so let's, um, we have this one. She also did it in blue. We have a pink one. So we have some different color ideas. So if orange isn't really in your color vibe, know that you can change up the colors. But when I was watching the original video and seeing her do so much of it by hand, I'm super thankful that we have these stencils now because with the butterflies, with the roses, with the birds, those are all things that you'll paint in the summer that you will want a stencil because they're tedious because you have the layers you have all of the little intricate design work and the stencils really make that amazing all right tell me have people been talking about what they're painting yes what so we have paint? butterflies mm -hmm. sunflowers mm -hmm. hummingbirds Ooh, hunting, hummingbirds i yeah. don't think we have hummingbird things uh, i think we might have no Maybe. Write that down. We'll have to yeah. look, at, look that up. I know we have a lot of birds, but I don't know if hummingbird is one of them. Yeah, I want to say that we have like an older stencil okay. that's like a hummingbird, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, everybody, oh, we have a couple gardeners on here. Okay, good. So everyone, um, they're excited about releasing the garden stencils. And yeah, we're, yeah. we've got birds and butterflies. Um Sunshine, beach, flip-flops. Yes. Uh, if you like the flip-flops and the beach, you will mm -hmm. love our um, summer flip-flop tall yep, porch the sign. tall porch sign, absolutely. It's super cute. We don't have that one painted here. So typically when we paint porch signs, they don't live here very long mm -hmm. because we display a lot of those over at our painting boutique in Gapleys, Ohio. Yeah. And so they see that we have painted something and then it just happens to walk a few blocks down the street <laughs> to be in their store. So a lot of this stuff we have to hide and hoard so we can show it <laughs> off to you guys. But sometimes things don't stay long. Yeah. Um, speaking of porch signs, we do have a couple. We talked about the planter box, but we also have our four foot and our six foot design. So let me grab this one. Morgan was gonna talk a little bit about the hive one. Yeah. So the Hive um, Tall Porch Sign Stencil, that's a mouthful. The it's Hive Tall Porch Sign Stencil. <laughs> I have a complication. I hope you make a blooper reel out of this. <laughs> so um, we've talked about my mom on here before. She paints and she's using um, Studio or 12 stencils mm -hmm. recently. Um, and she makes these signs and sells them at vendor events, flea markets, um, has a page on her Facebook. And this Hive sign has been a top seller even from last summer to this summer like she has people from last year asking for it Great. now they're giving it as gifts and she loves how many different ways you can paint that because you can do a black background mm -hmm. and that looks really with good white. with the yellow yeah. and white and you can do cream um i think she did a yellow one yeah i'm gonna pop this up for the overhead camera and then we can we can talk about the late one and it's second so i would do want to pop this up and show you that on this one this is a, a just really a basic design that is welcome to our hive but we added honeycomb in different areas in the middle at the top and the bottom to kind of 
anchor it. So this was just something that gives it a little extra pop, mm -hmm. which is something that's really fun to do on your signs year round. But right now, bees are popular. It is summertime. Yeah. Bees are bees are our, our great helpers in the garden. <laughs> and um, so the stripes and the honeycomb, I'm going to show you. Do our butterflies only come in the one size that um, we have on the step stone? I don't know I th about that. Yeah. I think the one that we have on our collection right now is just the one size. Yeah, the one but. in the collection is just the one size. It was the one that was used for here. Um, send me, whoever that was that asked that, send me a private message on the mm -hmm. Studio R12 Facebook page, and I'll look and see. Yeah. We might have them. They just might not be listed. I'm not 100% yeah. sure. But when it comes to the bees, there are so many different things you can do. So this is our hive rules, and we did. We added in the little honeycomb. We use gold, gold foil around the edge, and it just really gives it a pop that you can make it rustic, you can make it bright. You can also do B on your pillow with stripes. So if you have outdoor pillows that you only get out in the summer. And I love the idea of painting your own outdoor pillows mm -hmm. because that they're expensive. They are. They expensive. really are expensive. And like if you can just get some pillow covers, you can buy the mm -hmm. pillow filler um, itself on Amazon yeah. and then just get a set of plain pillow covers. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly a lot cheaper if you really think about it because sure. I think some like the cheaper pillow covers that I have bought just don't withstand very well. Mm -hmm. So it is pretty cool to just be able to make your own paint. Yeah. And then a lot of these that we have, this is from Ikea. Yeah. It's a uh, Hedda Maria. Um, is this design but we a lot of them we get from there and I'll I'll say something about with my pillow covers so I have cats and they love our pillows <laughs> and so there's cat hair and little paw prints over all the pillows so I thought I would just wash them before summer yeah and so I went to unzip them well it's got filler in it and not pillow forms so yeah. I couldn't wash them so I had to hand wash three, four, five, six, eight pillows yeah. with a rag and then put them on my trampoline so yeah. that the cats couldn't get back to them while they drive. Um, so sealing those, I think Patty has always told us that with fabric, I mean, if you ever get fabric on your clothes, it's hard to mm -hmm. chip away. But if you do want to seal, I think we've used like the spray on like um, our doormats yeah, and stuff. Yeah, there's a, in one of the videos, so if you... Trying to think of what it was because we just talked about it the other day. Yeah. It might be this video, but we have a couple videos mm -hmm. that show that talk about painting fabric. And in those videos, she yeah. talks about if you can um I'll pull them up. You can pull it up. You'll have to, it might take a bit. So if if whoever asked that wants to message yeah. us as well, we can go ahead and send that to you afterward because we'll have to go through the timestamps yeah, to see we'll have which to one. It out. Um because in these videos, we can't always get to all the things that we want to answer, um, even if it's just a tutorial on this, because each yeah. video is going to have a different focus. So this focus on this was, you know, painting stripes on the yeah. cloth. And yeah. at that time, it wasn't, we weren't maybe necessarily thinking about, oh yeah, how do you, how do you, do but we do have a lot of videos on how to paint fabric on our YouTube page, yeah. and it'll give you a lot of good advice about it. But painting on it, it, it stays yeah, um, ask our clothes. So you yeah. can always tell if we're going to paint. I'm not painting today. I don't have my apron on. I had one of my favorite black tank tops get um, white paint on it when I was painting one day. So it is hard to get this off. You can heat set it. And I know mm -hmm. that Patty discusses a couple of those different things yeah. in some of the videos. Um, this is just another bee that we did. And this one, we added glitter to it. So you can do the stripes, you can do the honeycomb, you can do the gold foil. This also has gold foil in it. So bees, there's a lot of different ways to paint them. So and I love bees yeah. for summer decor. That's probably my top pick for summer decor because I think it goes very well with transitioning from spring to summer mm -hmm. because I decorated for Easter. And then once I took my Easter stuff down, I have my bee stuff up and that can pretty much live there until fall time. Yeah, agreed. 
All right, so we talked about butterflies, we talked about bees, let's talk about another hot trim for summer, and that is lemons. Oh, I love lemons And too. so this is another pillow that we did, another pillow cover, and we did the sides differently on this. So on one side, we did stripes on both sides. On the other side, we just did a larger stripe that was kind of anchoring the project and just adding a little bit more. So we obviously love pillows for the summertime with the different designs. And not only for outdoor, but also for indoor. Yeah, for sure. I mm -hmm. think that, um, back again, p uh, couch pillows are yeah. hard to come by. Yeah. And I like to change mine out a lot for the holidays, so mm -hmm. it'd be kind of nice to just slip your cover off and put the new one yeah. on for summer, for Christmas, for fall. Well, in any of our any of our stuff, every, every day when I'm writing the newsletters, I find myself saying, it's so versatile, it's so versatile. Yeah. Because it is. <laughs> it really if is. If you decide you want to do bees one year, Get a couple bee stencils, paint bees on everything, and then guess what? Next year, if you're into lemons, you can repaint all that yep. stuff. If you're not into bees anymore, you can base coat over it and paint bees and sell your pillow covers and yep. buy new. <laughs> Honestly, though, like people love handcrafted <laughs> yeah, things. They do. So if you get sick of the stuff you have, you just well, and it's sell. also a cool idea to think about if you are selling at craft fairs. Mm -hmm. We are getting into our summer. Um, everything season that people yeah. are starting to have more vendor events and fairs and if you're tired of selling wood things and you think people are tired of buying them try doing some pillows yeah that'd be I think that mm -hmm. would sell really that well would be fun yeah. just something different all right so let's talk about a couple more lemon things I already showed you this one once this is our easy peasy lemon squeezy on the tag and these you can do we did buffalo plaid on top of it now this one actually came with buffalo plaid on the stencil so make sure you're checking out what you're getting this one would be really nice to have on hand with the buffalo plaid on it because then you can already have a buffalo plaid border for another project and then you would also have lemons or the saying so you could use this all as one or you could put it um, separated out and do it in different ways. We did this video recently. This project was painted a while back and it was really flat. So recently on a live, if you guys missed that, we will share it at, um, at some point that this has, Patty showed how to liven up the lemons and how to liven up the leaves. And so this was a really good one on shading and highlighting. Oh, Carol was like, pillow covers and dish towels. Oh, dish towels, yes, yes. absolutely. We have bought a bunch of dish towels to from the Dollar Tree so mm -hmm. that we could paint them. Um, maybe that's something I, I can do next week. We can jump on the yeah. dish towel thing. I think Patty did a video on like an oven mitt or something. Yeah, let's talk know. about that. I was supposed to do the oven <laughs> mitt. And I had to take off one day, and I came back, and Patty said, sorry, I painted on your oven mitt. And it was really cute, too. And it was really cute. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, those are really fun to paint because you can grab, um, talk about inexpensive. Yeah. Go into the Dollar Tree, grabbing some oven mitts or those pot holders. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, here's a couple yeah. that we did. So we Dish did towels. The, um, I love you, or tacos. So this is a really cute Valentine's Day one. And then I grabbed just one of our little mandalas and put it on a pot holder so that you could have this for year round and it's not just black and boring. Oh, and let me see that for a minute, the black one. Um, something that I have done for gift giving is you grab one of these from the dollar store mm -hmm. and you get a stencil that you want to paint on here. And then you get um, a wooden spoon from the mm -hmm. dollar store, um, maybe a cake mix, yeah. brownie mix, cookie mix, muffin mm -hmm. mix, or whatever. Or even a towel. And yeah, them. and you just stuff it into this little pocket, and then you have a cute little um, gift for yeah. teacher appreciations coming up, Mother's Day, yeah. stuff for Grandma, just That's little cute, cute things. Good idea. That's why I love Tuesdays. We always have good ideas. Um, so speaking of painting on different things, we also have our phone stands. So this is something that your phone goes into, and my phone's too big for this one, so you'll want to, oh, here we go, it fits in the back. So you can have your phone stand and set your phone in it. I think every one of us has these at our desk. Yes. <laughs> and so I sit and my phone sits all the time up at eye level so that I can see this, but you can paint these. This one we love because it's an Adirondack chair and it has some um, some planking in it 
And then there's also a, a, a plain side as well. So if you don't like the planking, you could flip it over on both and paint just the plain. But this is a super cute summer. That's my favorite one. Yeah, super cute summer little thing. Painting it paint. teal or something would be super mm -hmm. cute for summertime. Yeah, agreed. All right, summers, summer fun things. Let's talk about the beach and the pool and all the fun things. So we have our welcome to the lake porch sign. So we have, I think, lake, river, um, we have beach themed things. And so this was one of our fun designs that we did a couple of years ago. And Chris actually did a really cute, I think it was a tick, our first ever TikTok that he oh. did with this. <laughs> and this um, beer can be personalized. So this is not only an outdoor fun stencil, oh, that's beer fun. can be personalized and you could put wine, you could put drink, you could put potty break. You can put whatever you want. So it says swim at your own risk, lifeguard on, break. So whatever kind of break you want to go on, you can get this personalized. And it's just a super fun sign that you could hang out in your pool house or hang off the fence to your pool. Or if, you, um, if you're if you a beach person, you could have shark break. Shark <laughs> break. <laughs> but we also have really fun signs. This is a hot tub rules. And we had talked about, I think Patty has, is wanting to paint another one of these soon, that these rules signs are super fun. Yeah. They have all kinds of different sayings. So this is hot tub rules, um, enjoy, enjoy world peace, bubble your, bubble your troubles away, relax and unwind, sip and dip, um, clothing optional after midnight. No hurries, no worries. So it's just a bunch of fun little sayings. So you can, it, they all come on one stencil and you can paint this sign as it is. You can do it in simple colors and it won't take long or you can jazz it up and add different colors. You'll want a multi-masker for that and potentially even some smaller brushes so that you do have more control over it. But you could also do some really fun stuff with this and do enjoy world peace and send a cute little card to someone or um, bubble your troubles away and give a little um, thing of um, bath yeah. bubbles as a gift and relax and unwind. You could give someone a little thing of um, tea and a little coffee cup and That's then cute. put relax and unwind on there. So when you're getting these designs, you can think about some other ways. I've never even thought about that. That's a really yeah. good idea. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be sure to share that on our page so that um, we can maybe get some. We're because, getting some comments about we have really great ideas today. Yay! Oh, so we do have some good ideas we today, I have to say. Ideas. Um, and then I do want to talk, I'm going to talk about one more thing. So we're starting to wrap up. Can you tell me someone else's name, please? Uh, yes, let's do Don Level. Don Level, congratulations, Don Level. You have won a prize, and is she on Facebook or YouTube? She's on YouTube. She is on YouTube. So Don, Morgan's going to send you a message on YouTube and ask you to so kindly email me your address, and then I will be able to send you a prize next week. So a summer staple is you know maybe spending some time outdoors, going to the pool, going to the beach or even just going out in your garden and picking your plants. So Patty got Morgan and I cute little bags that we yes. can put our harvest in. But <laughs> if we if, remember to harvest. If, well, <laughs> or, or you don't need a bag when your radish is this big. Um, but you can do your own cute little beach bag. And this was just a plain bag that we got. We got um, two stencils that we put together for this one. We had our round stencil and then we put an R on it for Patty. And then we just have a bunch of fun, cute little uh, things in here, like our knitting, because of course we bought knitting. We were going to have a knitting club, and that did not take off. No. But one, maybe in the winter. Maybe we'll get back to it in maybe. the winter, because now we're in summer. I season. actually think this video might be the one where Patty talks a little bit about the setting. The setting. Yeah, this was one of our first fabric videos I think we did. Steve, is that correct? The lemon, the, one, the lemon one, one was before it, and then I it think this one was one. one of the first ones we did in mm -hmm. this studio. Exactly, yes. Um, yeah. So I've shared the link to that so okay, you guys cool. can hop on there and watch that. And I think that's a little bit, gives you a little bit more tips about painting on yeah, fabric. And, and something else about our YouTube channel when you're looking at these videos, if you are looking for something specific, say you want to know about how to finish 
these fabric projects. Go to our playlist and find the How to Paint on Fabric mm -hmm. playlist, and then it'll have a bunch of different videos. Once you click into that video, it's gonna have a sentence or two. So for this one, it's like, hey, why go buy a beach bag when you can get a plain one and paint your own and put your initial on it, then you know what's yours. But then it's gonna say, like, see more. And when you click that, it expands. And when that expands, it is a treasure trove of information. It's going to have links for the specific products. It's gonna have links to other playlists that you might find interesting. Videos from the last few months since we started are also going to have paint colors, but then it has our timestamps. And with our timestamps, it's going to tell you at one minute and 30 seconds, we're going to talk about how to use a repositionable adhesive. At um, seven minutes and 18 seconds, we're going to talk about stipple versus swirl. So if you're looking for something really specific in one of those videos or if you find that you don't necessarily love the project we're doing, but want to see what the video is about, you can go through and look at those timestamps. Yeah. And like we said earlier, it's really beneficial because just because we're working on, just say we're doing that beach bag um, video doesn't mean we're going to talk about all things fabric in that video. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be other videos that you might find that the answer you're looking for, but you might just not like right. the project that that's yeah. all. Or maybe you have no interest in making a beach bag at all. However, that round design with the dots is super cute mm -hmm. and you want to maybe see the link that we have for that product or how Patty painted it and how she yeah, fixed it. Because that could be put on a pillow. Yeah. It doesn't have to be a bag. You can do the same concept on a pillow or any a shirt or anything yeah. of that nature. Agreed, agreed. All right, guys, um, let's do one more winner. Give me one more name. One more name, let's see. Uh, Lori Bowen. Lori Bowen, congrats. Lori, you are a winner of something that I will pick out and send to you <laughs> <laughs> next week. Um, uh, do we have any questions before we pop off here? Um, I don't think so. I think everyone's just really loving the ideas. The ideas. And, well, and I think that what I might do is I'm going to take a picture of a couple of these, especially the hot tub rules, and share it and put some ideas of how you could use this for some smaller projects. And then I want to hear from you guys, too, you know, what you think that we could use these for. Because when you guys give us ideas and you guys send us things that you want to know, mm -hmm. that gives us... Some new things to paint and new things yeah. to try. Yeah, we definitely um, give us, I know that a lot of you have been telling us your favorite things to paint for the summer. Share some of your projects. That'll give us ideas. Mm -hmm. um, I know someone said about something about hummingbirds earlier. Yeah. If you've done a hummingbird project, send it to us. So yep. maybe Tomorrow's we can get Wednesday. some ideas. So on Wednesdays, we always post a What Are You Painting Wednesday picture of Patty with a funny face. And <laughs> um, everybody shares projects, pictures there. So that's always a really good place to get some ideas. We had someone last week, um, it might have been Patty Current, said that she had painted a tissue box with um, some really cute dog designs and she was giving that to her dog groomer. Oh, and yeah. And so, we, you know, we, we then were like, okay, well, who are you guys gifting things to? Because yeah. then that helps us know mm -hmm. maybe what designs we want to come out with in the future. And dare I say, oh no, <laughs> it is May 2023, and we are working on fall, Halloween, mm -hmm. and Christmas. Yes. So we are in the early stages, but we have some amazing ideas pushed to the side and some things that we are working on. So yep. it's not going to be immediate. You're going to have to give us some time and be patient, but, yep. but do know we are working on those, and so you can expect. Like we said, in the stencil world, we're ahead of <laughs> we're the holidays. We're always ahead. <laughs> we, try, we try to be several months ahead so that you guys can be ahead as well. All right. I think that's all. Everyone's just saying that we had a really great video today, and we appreciate Thanks, guys. it, guys. Thanks. I, um, and if, if you want to make sure to say that two or three extra times so that um, we can snip those. Yeah, Patty actually Patty. hopped on earlier. She, she said she was about an hour good. away. So oh, good. she'll probably be popping in here as we're finishing up. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining us on Studio R12's live Q&A on Tuesdays at 12 p.m. Eastern. Subscribe to our yeah. YouTube. Follow us on Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. And we're now on Twitch. <laughs> we're everywhere. And Studio R12. 
Power 12 and, is taking over. And Pinterest, <laughs> if I left anything yeah. out, let us Sign know. Up <laughs> Sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for the newsletter. All right, guys, we'll see you next Bye. week. Bye.